Hi and welcome to the first in my short organisation videos. Um, I've always been interested in organising. Um, the last 18 months since I had Daisy has been a bit of a whirlwind um, and I just feel now like I'm ready to start getting back into organising. Um, so I decided to start off with a small project which was the under stairs area where we keep some of the shoes and coats and we've got some shelving and we keep some of Daisy's toys on there and my drawers that contain uh, my competition materials and stationery and things like that. So I decided to sort it all out and film it. Um, so yeah, this, this is just my first video um, in what I hope is going to be an organisation series because um, I'm hoping, I've, I've wrote a list of projects down that I'd really like to, um, to do to complete this year. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd film them because it would be quite good fun to see how things change and progress. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll speak to you at the end of the video. Okay, so this is the area before the organisation is going to take place. Um, <clears throat> it never, I seem to tidy it up and it always seems to get back to this sort of stage. So. Um, obviously there's a few things on there, that's just something that needs returning, um, there's a couple of magazines and things like that on there. Um, this part, this shelf here is dedicated to Daisy's toys that we don't leave out all the time. And if you can see there's a plastic box there and it's got books and jigsaws in it. And what I tend to do is once a month I will take the box upstairs and I'll swap over the books so she's got some different books in there. Um, you know she's only you know nearly 17 months at the moment she doesn't need load you know loads of toys because uh, I think you can overstimulate toddlers sometimes with too many toys so I find that the rotation the rotation of the toys really does help and um, the bottom shelf I just usually store my extra bottles of water and the changing bag at the moment um, and then <clears throat> over this bag here um, for want of a better storage system is just Daisy's bibs and bits and bobs like that. Uh, then I've got this three um, drawer plastic storage centre which has really always been dedicated to my um, comping materials, my uh, materials that I use for competitions and for stationery. Um, but recently I, as you can see the headphones in the top drawer there, I decided we had that many wires and uh, chargers and gadget, you know, bits for gadgets for the tabs and phones and things like that that I'd use that drawer. But um, it means that I've had to sort of squash a few things into the bottom drawer, um, which I'm finding difficult to, you know, to access. So um, I bought some storage boxes um, and I'm going to sort this top shelf out. So those cables will go into storage boxes on top and hopefully make it a lot tidier. Because um, I think sometimes when you've got a shelf that's not got a specific purpose, you do tend to just dump stuff on top of it, you know, and use it as a bit of a, a dumping ground for things. So, yep, so this is the before, and I'll be back soon to show you the after. These are the two white storage boxes that I'm hoping to fit all the cables and bits and bobs that we don't need to access that often. Um, to tidy it up. I bought these from Tesco and they were on, on a sale shelf which was great. Uh, they're just a folding storage box, uh, medium sized, so it's 26 uh, by 21 by 15. <clears throat> but they are quite a decent size and they were just basically put them together yourself. So they're just made of like a thick cardboard. Um, so yeah, I thought they'd really come in handy. And uh, when I bought them I didn't have a didn't really know what I was going to put in them but then looking at that shelf and deciding that I wanted to organise the shelf I thought yep they'll be great. Okay so here it's finished it took me about 10 minutes at the most but it looks so much tidier all of the cables and things to do with the cameras or the tabs are in these two boxes here um, and then the second shelf uh, there's Daisy's um, there's Daisy's tub sorted out, so everything's 
fit in there are crayons and a chalk, so that's great because if we leave them out she's always trying to reach for them. Um, and then the bottom shelf is just the changing bag and my mm -hmm. extra spare bottles of water. I think as Daisy gets older I'd like to use that shelf for something but at the moment you can only put stuff on, on there that you mind, you know, that she's not really going to do much damage with. Um, my drawers are back to normal, stationary drawers at the top. Second drawer down is all my comping things. That's for any uh, receipts that I need to keep. Um, my back copies of Compass News are in there. Um, yep, some samples that I want to take to my comping club. Um, you having fun there, Daisy? <laughs> You're not allowed in mummy's drawers, are you? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's close that up then. Okay, and then the bottom drawer is back to being my envelope, stickers, postcards. Just give you a quick look. Oh, thank you, Daisy. And notebooks. So I'm quite happy with that. That's going to make it a lot easier for uh. me. Um, bibs are staying in here for now. Uh, that's just the coat rack. I sorted that out recently. And this is our shoe rack here. Um, that... Um, I cleaned up last week so yeah shoes live on there that's my exercise mat and just looks a little bit tidier now so hopefully um, that'll encourage us not to just dump stuff on top so I hope you enjoyed that video um, of just a quick organization just shows you that um, you know any area you've got that's untidy um, it can take you know as I said it was 10 minutes it took me to sort that little area out um, and if you keep on top of it and you know you, you stop yourself from piling things on top of it then it makes it a lot easier so yeah really easy organization project to start off with uh, starting if you've got a lot to organize and you know a lot of um, jobs to do in your house then I just suggest you start off really really small um, just write yourself a list of little things and complete one thing at a time uh, start a little project and see it through to the end and the you know the the accomplished uh, feeling you get at the end you know that you've actually done it and you and you're quite proud your little area is nice and tidy I know that sounds silly but it really does help if you want to get your house organized and helps you to get other areas organized as well so hope you enjoyed that video um, I've got a few other projects on the go at the moment um, that I will be filming and sharing with you so I hope you enjoy them okay take care bye